Hi guys, thanks for joining me today for your yoga practice. We are going to be working into some strength-based stuff using yoga blocks. So grab hold of a couple of strong yoga blocks. I'm using cork ones, which I think are really, really good. You can also use books or you can use weights if you want a little bit higher intensity for your session today. So join me in a comfortable child's pose position where we'll begin the session. Just pop your blocks off to the top of your mat. See you there. So arriving on your mat in an easy child pose position, just to elongate out the spine, lengthening out through the back, dropping the forehead maybe down to the floor and just taking a moment to settle here. Breathing nice and slowly. Just checking in with how you're feeling today. Taking that moment to pause. We're always in a rush to move on to the next thing. So before we start our movement practice, it's so important that we take the time just to check in with what we're arriving with today. I mean, I have done practices where I've literally got to my mat and been like, I really don't actually want to do this. And then I've had to change my practice to kind of just because of the body's telling me it wants something completely different. So that's why checking in is really important. You think you're going to do a really fiery workout and then you realise you have absolutely no energy to do it. <laughs> so we'll take a couple more breaths here. Slowly allowing the body to soften before we start to move a little bit more. On your next inhalation, let's make our way up to our hands and knees. And we'll just move around a little bit on the wrist, just waking up into our wrists. Now we don't have to go too aggressively, just nice and gently. We will be bringing a little bit of pressure into the hands today. So it's quite nice to just wake them up. If you want to maybe flip the fingers all the way round towards the knees as best you can to stretch out the forearms, you can do so. If this feels really difficult and the fingers only get kind of towards the corners, that's fine. You can always rock a little bit from side to side. If you have the fingers all the way round, you may want to do a little bit of cat-cowing just to feel that stretch through the forearms. And you may decide that it's nice to flip the fingers in and get a stretch of the back of the forearm. You can do one hand and then the other, or you can do both at the same time. Just waking up the wrist a little bit here. Good. Palms will come back down into the earth. Tuck the toes and just shift back into a downward facing dog and just walking out. So we're still thinking about the hands here, but we're now also working with the feet. So you can move around on the feet, the toes, you can flip the toes down and gonna stretch the ankles. Just having a little play with what's going on in our feet, our ankle joints, all the way up to our calf muscles, our hips, hamstrings, and still pushing down into the ground, so we're waking up the arms. Lovely, take another breath here. My ankles are cracking like mad. <laughs> so we'll drop down onto the knees, step the right foot forward into a nice lunge, and we can lift the arms up, Take a big stretch, squeezing the buttocks and breathing here for a few moments. If you prefer to move in and out, you can. Maybe waking up the hamstrings. Or if you want to just stay in your lunge, be present here, that's also fine. Maybe take a little side stretch over towards the right side. You might grab hold of the left wrist and pull over towards the right side. Opening up underneath the shoulder, into the lats, and then back to the center. Our hands are gonna to come to the inside of that right foot, pick up the back left knee, and turn to the long edge of your mat, and come into a wide leg standing forward fold. You can wiggle around here. It's breathing nice and slowly. It's feeling how the body is today. And then we're gonna bend into the left knee, Root the right hand down into the floor, maybe twist the left arm up to the sky, big twist. 
and then turning to the back of your mat, dropping the right knee down and coming through a lunge on the other side. So lifting the arms up, maybe this feels nice. Maybe you want to come through a half Hanuman. So stretching out the hamstrings or staying in the lunge. You may grip hold of the right wrist and take a little side stretch over to the left. Breathing slowly still, keep squeezing the buttocks to support the lower back. And as the hands come down to the inside of the left foot, pick up the right knee, walk the hands back to the center, wide leg standing forward fold, and again, you may want a bit of movement. Maybe the head, yes, yes, no, no, don't forget about the neck. I'm going to bend into the right knee, root the left hand down and twist the right arm up. Big twist. And as we come back to the top of your mat, we will step both feet together, standing forward fold. Maybe soft knees if that feels better for your lower back. And then take hold of your um, blocks. If you are working with books, I'm going to refer to them as blocks. But take hold of your blocks and curl all the way up to standing. Now we want to have our blocks together, press together like so. So we're bringing the flat long edge together and we're pushing into them. Elbows out nice and wide, we're going to come through a nice chair pose. You guessed it, we're going straight for activation. So sinking down into your chair and pushing the blocks together. Now this can also work really well with weights if you want to work with weights and add a little bit of extra spice to your practice. But if, if you're feeling, do you know what, this is plenty, it really is. So keep pushing. The more you push, the more you'll feel the activation of your pectoral muscles across your chest and keep squatting low into that chair. Now flip your fingers to point forwards and extend your blocks forward, keeping the elbows a little bit bent and push the blocks together. The heavier the apparatus you have in front of you, the harder this is. So keep pushing them towards each other. Take another breath. Now bending the elbows, keeping the shoulders in line with the elbows, keep the squat, we're just going to lift up, up. So pulsing up and pushing in. So keeping those elbows in line with the shoulders, squeezing towards each other as we squeeze the blocks. Good, one more. Now extending the arms over the head and keep squeezing, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. This is the hardest bit, keep breathing. Sinking down into that chair position, gently knit the rib cage in. And then elbows will bend so the blocks will go behind the head and extend up to the sky. Feel those triceps, bend, extend, bend, extend. Three more, bend, extend, last two. Elbows in, last one. Good, we're dropping our blocks down to the floor and taking hold of the top of them. So we want to have enough space for our back to elongate. Extending our left leg back, keep the right knee bent. We lift the left leg up as high as it will go without going into the back and then bring the foot back down to the floor. Lifting up and lowering. So we're starting to activate into our left buttock and left hamstring. Feeling nice and strong in your body. Good, try not to curve your spine. So if you find this is really challenging on blocks, give yourself a little extra height and we'll come back to the blocks in a moment. Right knee is bent, so no straight right leg. Right knee wants to be nicely bent in towards activating that thigh. Couple more, lift and lower. Lift and hold, we're gonna pulse with a straight left leg up. Up. So this is really working the hamstrings and the glutes of your left leg. I know you can feel it. Try not to pulse with the back. So let this be a small movement. It's one of those really strong movements that you feel the burn pretty quickly. We'll go for another five, four, three, two, and one. Now, as we stand up, we're going to grab the blocks and bring them with us, joining the left foot towards the right. And we're going to lower back down. So lowering the blocks, we're not going to touch the floor. We're going to tap the floor as the left leg goes up. Tap. 
lifting up, we've swapped glutes. Can you feel that? Right glutes now going, oh, hi, I have to work, do I? Keep the right knee slightly bent, tap the floor, lifting up. You should feel the back line of your body, so your back is active here. Lowering down, tap, lifting up. Couple more. Lower, tap, lift. Last one, lower. Now place the blocks into the floor, step the left leg back, and we're coming into our plank position. If you need to drop your knees down to the floor at any point, you can. And try and think about keeping that long board shape so we can push the shoulders as far over the wrists as possible, or we can lean back a little bit further, so more of a diagonal, if you need a little bit more space for your wrists. One more breath holding. Now we'll drop our heels over to the right side, keeping the hands pushing down onto our blocks. Back to the center and over to the left. Back to the center, to the right, to the center, to the left. Now, if you want to make this a little harder, you can. As we go over to the right with the heels, we push through the right hand, lift the left arm up, coming back down, Heels go to the left, push through the left hand, lift the right arm up. You don't have to do this variation, only if you feel stable. Two more, heels to the right, maybe lift the left arm up. Heels to the left, maybe lift the right arm high. Coming back to the center, drop the knees down to the earth. We're gonna take the weights and um, block, sorry, a little bit wider if you need to. We're gonna come all the way through into our press up sort of chaturangari. So drop the body all the way down, go through the weights and then push all the way back up. That's one. Good, we're gonna come through, pushing down and up. That's two. Lower, lift three. Lower, lift four. Lower, lift five, halfway. Lower, lift six. Lower, lift seven, lower, lift eight, two more. Lower, lift nine, hold 10, halfway, hold for five, four, three, two, one, push all the way back up to straight arms, well done. Walk your knees in, sinking the bum to the floor or crossing at the ankles. We're gonna take our weights, blocks, one day I will learn that these are blocks and not weights. <laughs> Behind us, heels forward, toes up. Now we want our fingers to just curl off the edges, palms pushed down into our blocks. We're gonna lift the bum up. Now to lower the bum towards the floor, we're just bending the elbows, tapping the bum, lifting. Bend and lift, bend and lift. It's one of those lovely ones that really gets your triceps firing up quickly. Let's add a little hip tap to the floor. So we're gonna drop left hip to the right side, right hip to the left. So we just tap, lift, tap, lift, bending the elbows. This should get you hot pretty quickly. Let's go for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, torture's not over, straighten the legs. See if you can push back as far back as you can and then lift the hips up. Don't worry if your bum does not come off the floor there and we'll push back again. Extend, lift up, one more. Push back, extend, hold, lower the bum down to the floor. One block is gonna come in between your knees, squeeze. The other block is going to come into your hands. If you want to work a little bit harder, lean back and you can lift the feet off the floor. We're going to twist side to side. So we twist, twist as we squeeze our block in between our knees and in between our hands. Try and make sure this isn't just shoulders, but we're moving from the center. So it doesn't matter how far the hands go over, I want you to think about the movement happening from the thoracic spine, so the core has to activate. Therefore, we're actually using the center and not just the shoulders, which makes it a little bit easier to just use the shoulders. Keep going, 
keep breathing. Hopefully, <laughs> in three, in two, in one. Dropping the feet into the floor. Now you can use your blocks to help me roll forward. You can come in a little bit easier or roll forward. Place one block to the top of your mat, to the right side. And we're gonna place our right foot on top. Step the left leg back and pick the other block up into your hands. Extending that weight forward and pressing into it, block, <laughs> told you I'm not gonna remember that these are blocks. As we bend our left knee, we twist so that our block comes towards the outer edge of the left hip. And then we straighten the back leg and extend the block forward. Twist, bend, extend, push. Twist, bend, extend, push. Couple more. Twist, bend, extend, push. Keep pushing down to that right heel that's nicely on your block in front of you. Keep going. Now, if you feel comfortable, speed it up a little. This is great for your balance. And I guess you can probably feel your coordination working quite well here. Couple more. One more, let's hold it into the corner, the side, and just pulse the twist, pulse. So we're using the side core to get this twisting action, not your arms. Arms stay still, we just pulse from the center. Three, two, and one. Turning into a goddess shape. Now, if you need to turn your foot slightly out, and you might be slightly awkward on your mat, that's absolutely fine. Block's gonna go over your head. And we're gonna sink low as you can possibly go and just add a little pulse, pulse, pulse. Firing up those quads, yummy. <laughs> now let's lift up the left heel, lower. Lift, lower, lift, lower, lift, lower. I love this one. <laughs> lift, lower, lift, Lower, so we're pulsing straight down the center, not over to the right side or the left side. So keep it nice and central. Keep pushing that weight above your head. Block. <laughs> One more, lift, lower. Let's keep the left heel lifting. Can we pulse, pulse, last little push. Keep going, three, two, and one. Pivot back to the top of the mat. Drop the left block into the floor so we can lower the left knee down and get a little bit of a stretch. You might wanna lift the left arm up. Maybe the right arm can join. Breathing here. Taking the hand back to the weight. We extend right knee back. Now you can do this at any height with your blocks. I'm gonna go for the highest height just because it feels really nice for the triceps but make sure it feels the most stable for you. Elbows are gonna come onto the top of your blocks, whatever height you're at. And then walk your knees back, bringing the palms together until you can drop the chest through, maybe the head relaxes. Then the hands might go behind the skull or into the back of the neck. So finding this is a nice stretch for the triceps, into the lats, and just keep the breath nice and steady here. Breathing slowly. We have one final push before we do it all again. Yay, I know you're so excited. I am. Maybe you're like, yeah, I'm really ready to go again. Now to come out of this stretch, release your hands from behind your head and walk your knees in. And then you can grab back hold of your blocks. Now for purposes of if you cannot sit onto your heels like this, you can always hop onto a bolster for your feet. You can always give yourself a bit extra height. We're gonna do a little bit of a lasana lift. We're gonna lift the, the whole body off the floor, just leaning into our blocks. So again, you can have any height for your blocks and it is not about how high you lift. It's about the intention of the lift. I taught this to my dad when he was like, I can't do that. And he did do it. <laughs> and he was like, oh, wow. So it's really great to actually be able to notice your own strength, how you can develop. So we're gonna push the weights, roughly blocks, roughly in line with um, the middle of your thigh. 
push, lift the knees up first, tops of the toes can be grounded or pick up the feet and keep pushing down. Hold it for three, two, one, release. Well done, nice. And again, I'll show you from the front. Push in, push, lift, push down with those hands, really lift and tuck the feet in, hold for three, two, one, release. We've got one more, take an inhale, Exhale, push down, lift. Pull the knees up nice and high. That's me wobbling on my block. Pull in, hold, hold, hold for three, two, one. Tuck the toes into the floor if you can and take a little forward fold. Release the hands, take a moment to breathe. We're gonna do the whole sequence again on the other side. Hopefully this time I won't wobble on my block. So just be aware that it can be fun to use blocks, but also make sure that you protect yourselves too. Good, we're gonna curl back up, grab our blocks, bring them together. Taking the hands to the flat long edges and squish those blocks towards each other. Make your pectoral muscles work. Coming down through our chair pose, we sink the weight back into the heels and we push into our blocks. That's all we have to do for now, push. So you can work as hard as you need to today. So if you're feeling tired or your muscles ache already from side one, then work a little less hard. Keep breathing. Now flip the fingers to face forward and then extend the arms out long. Slight softening of your elbows and then press the blocks towards each other. If you don't press enough, you're gonna drop them. <laughs> so keep pressing. One more breath. Bend the elbows, keep the elbows in line with the shoulders and pulse up, 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 up. Keep squeezing those elbows in. We're still in our chair position. Final three two, one, extend the arms up to the sky. Keep squeezing the blocks, it's the hardest bit. Keep breathing, keep squishing. Let's bend the elbows back, keep the elbows close towards each other, extend the hands up. Bend the elbows, extend, bend and extend. Stay in the squat, three more, bend, extend. Last two, bend, extend. One more, bend. Extend, take your blocks down to the floor, separate them slightly and grab the tops of the blocks. Make sure you've got enough space to elongate the spine. Bending the left knee, we extend the right leg up and bring the foot back to the floor. Lift the right leg up, straight right leg and lower. It's not about height, but think about using the hamstrings and the glutes of the right leg. Lifting and lowering, good. Lift and lower. Try not to go into your lower back. Check that left knee is bent. A few more, lift and lower. Lift and lower. Last one, we're gonna hold it up there and little pulses up, 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 up. Good. You should be feeling your right hamstring, your right glute max working nice and strongly because we're gonna switch it out in a moment. Let's go five, four, three, two, one. So we're picking up the blocks as we come up to standing. Your left leg takes that burden. Good, lowering slowly back down. We tap the blocks, not lower. Lift the right leg up. Lifting as we lower the right leg. Lower the arms as we lift the right leg, tap. Now you're keeping your spine nice and straight. So we're not curving the back, we're keeping the back elongated. That left knee stays bent the entire time to help switch on the muscles around the knee. You can feel your glute medius, one of your really important stabilizing butt muscles. One more. This time we lower the blocks all the way down, step the right foot back, join it with the left, and we're in our plank position. At any moment, you can always lower down onto your knees, but try and check that you're keeping that nice long line from the pelvis towards the shoulder blades towards the back of the skull. So we can drop the heels over to the left side, keep the hands down to the center and to the right. 
to the center, to the left, to the center, to the right. Maybe adding in the side plank. So to the left, push down to the left hand, lift the right arm up. Good. To the center, over to the right, lift the left arm up. One more time each side. To the center, left heels down, right arm up. Last time, right hand down, heels to the right, left arm up. Coming back to the centre, drop the knees down. If you need your blocks to go a little wider, you can to get the chest the whole way through. Your bum wants to follow with you, so let's not go down with the chest down the bum up. Are we ready? Ten of these. Here we go. Take an inhale. We've got this. Exhale. All the way through. All the way up. That's one. Lower. Push two. Lower. Push three. Good. Bum goes with you. Four, take less reps with the right form, five, rather than more reps, six, with a bad form, seven, we're nearly there, eight, two more, take breathers if you need to, nine, ten, we're going to hold halfway, hold, five, four, three, two, one, push all the way up, walk the knees in. You can either cross at the ankles or sweep the feet to the side and drag your blocks behind you. Fingers going to wrap around the edges, palms down, heels down, toes up. Just when you're thinking you were tired enough, we do more triceps. <laughs> Lift the bum up. We just tap the bum down as we bend the elbows. So try to bend your elbows to tap the bum. No lowering down, just tap. Tap. Remember, you can always take breaks. Let's do the little side hips. So we're gonna tap right heel, left side, le right heel, right hip, left hip, right side, tap, 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 tap. Just moving and bending the elbows. This one gets you hot nice and quickly. We're going for a final 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Lower the bum down. One block goes in between the knees. The other block goes in between the hands. If you want to go a little harder, lean back, lift the feet off the floor. And we're twisting side to side. Now try to remember we're not just using the arms. We're using the torso. So we're really feeling that push into our blocks, both hands and in between the knees. And we're twisting from our center. Keep going. I love this one. It's kind of killer, but good killer. <laughs> if that can be a thing. Let's go for a final 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, land the feet down, bring the blocks forward. Now, any way you can get to the top of your mat is fine. Left block's gonna come down into the top of the mat. Left foot onto the left block, right leg back. And then we can pick up the right block into the right hands, extending the block forward in front of your chest. As we bend the right knee, we twist, so this block comes towards the right hip bending the right knee deeply. We extend the right leg, extend the block forward. The left knee stays bent. And again, twist, extend. Twist, extend. It's great for balance and control. Twist, extend. Twist, extend. Keep going. If you want to speed it up, have a go. Just be mindful of your balance. It's not about speed, but it's about control. Okay, let's hold it to the corner, to the twist, and just do little twist pulses. Twist, twist. Again, remember this is not arms, <laughs> this is core. So your arms technically are still, you're just twisting from your center. Twist, twist, twist. Three, two, and one, open to that goddess. You may need to turn your left toes in slightly. Block's gonna go over the head. And we just pulse down, 
down. Try and stay right into the center rather than over to the side. Either way, we're right into the center. As we're pulsing, let's lift up, right heel up, right heel down. Lift pulse, lower pulse. Lift pulse, lower pulse. Lift pulse, lower pulse. Lift, lower. Lift, lower. Three more. Two more. Last one, hold the right heel up then, just pulse down. You should feel your thighs nice and strongly now. I could feel mine. <laughs> We're going for five. Four, three, two, and one. Turn back towards the top of your mat. Right block can go down, drop the right knee, and we can come through a little lunge. Maybe lifting the right arm up, stretching through the hip flexors. Couple of breaths. Oh, we're nearly there. Hand comes back down. We're going to bring both blocks up. Remember, you can take any height with your blocks. Knees go in first, so we can drop the elbows down onto the tops of our blocks. Walk the knees back, palms together. Go back as far as you would like to go. Hands can then drop behind the skull, and we get a lovely stretch underneath the armpits into the lats, down the triceps from the elbows towards the armpits. Feeling the back elongate, even might want a little bit of a wag of the tail if that feels good into the spine. Lovely. Ready for our final lalasana lift? Yeah, we're gonna walk the knees back in first. So lift the hands, walk the knees in. Sit back onto the heels, grab your blocks. They're gonna go mid thigh, push down. Let's take an inhale. As we exhale, we lift as high as we can. Hold for three, two, one, and lower. Take an inhale, exhale, push down, hold, lift for three, two, one, lower. Last one, inhale. Exhale, lift, push, lift for three, two, one. Can you tuck the toes? Maybe. And take a fold, release the arms. Well done. Wonderful work. We did all the fiery stuff we need to do today. Beautiful. And then just popping your hands down into the floor. Drop the knees back down to the earth. We're going to shift the blocks off to the side and come and lie on the back. Take a moment to rest the body. In so many Shavasana, breathing nice and slowly. Letting the nervous system calm down. Checking back in with your breath. Let's take one final breath here. Notice how your heart rate has slowed back down. You can stay here as long as you need. Or make your way up to a comfortable seated position to close off the practice. Inhale to sweep the arms up to the sky, bring the palms together, and exhale the hands to the heart center. Bowing your head forward, thanking yourself for your practice today. Namaste.